Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Welcome back to another brand new video. Yes, it's a new week, it's a new video. Today is something special, I'm back on the Scotch Single Malks again. It's quite a special one. Just to give you a quick idea, this bottle, I got it from the distillery thanks to my new best friend up on Speyside, Mr Mark Slinger. Uh, he's helped me out with a few bottles recently. Uh, and this one is no exception. I'd planned to keep this bottle as part of my collection, but it was just too much for me. I just couldn't, I had to crack it open. So today I'm going to review it with you today. And that bottle happens to be the Tomatin Distillery Exclusive. It's, uh, it's a Pedro Jimenez single cask. I'll just get this out of here. Give you a little info off the label. Uh, pop that there. So yeah, it's a Tomatin Distillery Exclusive Single Cask. Uh, Pedro Jimenez. It was bottled. Uh, sorry, it was distilled on the thirtieth of November, two thousand and one, and it was bottled on the eighth of May, two thousand and nineteen. This year, so the cask number. For you geeks was 34867 and this was number bottle 241. I uh, can't remember what I paid for it with Mark but I'm sure Mark will drop me a comment. I think it may have been about £90 or something I think, around about that kind of uh, range. And it's bottled at 55.5 ABV, so about 111 proof. It's a uh, single cask. So let me get it poured. Let's see if I can get that pop. Wow. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's that's what we like to hear. Let's see if I can get a glug. Oh, no glug. But, yeah. Wow, I can smell that already. Let me get a quick sip of water, guys, before we start. Just before I crack on with this, guys, just a friendly reminder. If you've popped in for the first time and you like watching some whiskey reviews and you've come to the right place, uh, you may want to click that subscribe button down below. doesn't cost you anything, it's free, it's just down there. Remember to hit that like button and what you'll be doing is you'll be helping the channel on its way to the magical 1k. So now the housekeeping's out of the way, let's just crack on with this whiskey. So yeah, see you tomato. Uh, see if I met up with Mark. Slinger quite recently up in up in Glasgow and he kindly arranged to get a hold of this bottle for me and then he obviously delivered to me in Glasgow so as I say I did plan to keep it as a as part of my collection but it was it was just every time I came into the room I just looked at it and I thought Phew. so the other night I cracked it open so that's where we are with that. Uh, I did plan to start on the idea knowing that Mark was up there and he travelled around Space Aid quite a bit. He's actually helped me out a little bit. And since then, where he he got me a couple of these, the Glen Marie uh, port cast finishes, 55.7, I think that one is. That's bottle 269. Got me 267 as well, but I think he got himself 268 in between. So yeah, and that was say that was bottled in 2009. Sorry, did filled in 2009 the cask. And it was bottled in 24-6-2019. I got a couple of them, as I said. Uh, he actually got me this one here, which is a distillery one again at Ben Romack. Uh, that was 59.6, and that was, again, distillery only. And it's first fill bourbon. And that one was, I think that was a, that was a seven-year-old, that one. And I actually got managed to get a hold of myself one of these at auction. Which again is the difference with this one is it's actually uh, first fill sherry hogshead, and that one is fifty seven point nine, and that was that's a thirteen year old. So I've actually started a little collection of distillery only bottles. Don't know how far I'll get with them before I crack them open. Uh, ideally, if I start buying these distilleries, I'm going to buy two of them. Hopefully, one to open and one to keep. And obviously once I open them I'll tend to share them, so that's in the pleasure is in the sharing, as we all know. So anyway, I've bored you enough, I'm just going to crack on 
get on with this nose of this tomato. I can smell it already without even getting anywhere near the glass. So anyway, just quickly guys, on the nose. Okay, straight away, the, the PX is just jumping straight out of the glass. Massive, massive PX nose. Very, very sweet. It does, it does smell rich. Lots of, there's lots and lots of flavours going on. And it smells aged, you, can, you know there's a bit of age to it. Wow, super, super nose. Lots of nuts, it's quite nutty. Some coffee, big strong coffee note. And I'm picking up lots of dark chocolate, so it's all pretty, pretty dark. Colour wise, yeah it is pretty, pretty dark colour, it's like a golden amber colour. Lovely, lovely stuff. Some nice legs on there as well. Beautiful legs, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up those legs. But yeah, some real nice ones on there. Looks really, really viscous, really thick. Now I'm picking up some cherries. And you can smell the ABV, you can smell the 111 proof. Okay guys, it's a really, really wonderful nose. You could spend some time with it, but I'm not going to bore you with spending some time with nose. I can't wait to try it, so I'm just going to crack on. Slanch on the palate for this tomato. Oh my god. On the mouth guys, it's just an explosion. There's lots of heat. You know the ABV, it's hot. The 111 proof, the 55.5 is definitely, it makes itself known. It's a beautiful, beautiful, and see that explosion's there of all the flavors, but the intensity builds. It's hot, there's lots of heat, and as it goes into the development, the flavours are coming through now, as it's, again, it's, it's that rich, rich texture, there's a velvety, thick mouthfeel, it's wonderful. It's actually quite creamy, it's a real creamy mouthfeel, but the PX is, is there, the sherry's, you know the sherry's right up front, it's super, super sweet, which you would expect from PX. But all those figs, raisins, plums, they're all there. Wow, let me just try some more guys, just to come back up on it. I could give you some more, but I just want to try some more of this. Super. Okay, on that second sip, it wasn't quite as intense, it kind of lulls you in and then it explodes again. It's gone quite spicy now, a little bit peppery. Beautiful, beautiful. It's still intense as it's gone through the development, it's, there's a bit of, it's a real it's, it's one of those, it's very, very mouth-watering. And then all of a sudden, just when you think it's very, very mouth-watering, it's the oak, the dryness, just piles in and just sucks all the saliva out of your mouth. So it's super, super stuff. And we say the 55.5 is definitely there. It drinks like a 55.5. You can definitely pick up the age from it as well on, on the palate. Picking up a little bit now of picking up some barrel char, I think. And see, it's that oaky dryness, is, it's super, super stuff. Let me just try some more and I'll give you a bit on the finish, guys, before we crack off with this.
Okay guys, on the finish, I'm picking up. It's more peppery. It's lingering, it's long. Definitely getting those cherries. Those cherries are on the finish. It's like chocolate cherries. Some real, real rich dark chocolate. Little touch of coffee. And right on the very end, it's very woody and it's very oaky. Still velvety texture all the way through. And it's just drying on the end. A little bit of heat right on the very back end of it. But all in all, guys, this is a wonderful, wonderful dram. I think I'm going to be in contact with Mr. Slinger a wee bit more to see if there's I can pick up some more of these. Um, but again, guys, it's absolutely fantastic. If you ever get the chance to go to Tamatin, or I, th I think you're able to contact the distillery and I think they'll bottle these and send them on to you. Uh, they'll just charge you postage. Uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, if I'm wrong, apologies, but I think that's that's the case. Uh, I think I'm due a little visit to Speyside, maybe catch up with Mr. Slinger uh, and do a little kind of whiz round Speyside, see what I can pick up. Um, but again guys, I'm Alan, the pleasure is in the sharing and I'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks for popping in and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Cheers guys, thanks very much.